Hey YouTube, this is Say by X with another video introducing RCs in my collection. Uh, this time around, I'm going to introduce you to uh, three of my T Maxes. And this first one here is not my creation. I, I don't remember how did I acquire this R, uh, RC, but I refuse to uh, throw it away or use it for parts. You know, I like uh, restoring cars and stuff. And it looks like this one was uh, beat up pretty good. But uh, I think I could probably do something with it. It is in the bottom of the list of my uh, bottom of my project list. But eventually, I will do something with it. Uh, take off the body here. Like I said, this is none of my doing. But um, man, I can't remember when I, if I bought it or probably got it on a trade with other stuff. Can't remember. But anyway, it needs a lot of TLC. At least the way I like my RCs. But anyway, you know, uh, I don't know if uh, go electric. I don't know if just put a big motor and um, just do speed runs with it, uh, bash with it. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. But like I said, it's on the bottom of my list. So it's probably going to be a while before I do anything uh, with it. Uh, let's go to the next one. This one here, I did buy this one. Uh, I bought it pretty, pretty cheap uh, for what I got. And let me fix it here. And it's basically my um, shelf queen. It's pretty much stock. I did a, I did do a couple things, as you can see back there. Let's take the body off. It's, it's pretty much stock. It has a 2.5. Uh, I had, I cleaned it up pretty good. Got some um, RPM bumpers front and back. I did the, the second servo. I had to cut a hole, and it was a nice little project that I saw other people doing it, so I tried it. It actually works. It works uh, with uh, stock servo. It didn't cost nothing to me. I already had all the parts, so it was just a nice, probably a two-hour little project, and it made a big difference on the way the, the wheels turn. And that, like I said, those are just normal tracks and servos. Uh, I did buy this uh, pipe right here. Love it. It cannot stand. I, I, I'm not a nitro guy. And I cannot stand the side pipes. I don't know why. Just that, uh, all that uh, oil and stuff. You can see the wheel here from previous runs. I cannot stand it. I always go out and try to get a pipe in the back so I don't have to deal with that mess. Because as you could probably see the difference from this tire or wheel to this wheel. Uh, but that's just me. But like I said, this is more of a pretty much stock uh, shelf queen. I really don't run it uh, as much as I should. All right, let's go for the next one. This one right here is my main basher right here. This one right here is my main basher. And you'll probably be asking yourself, well, Sabard, you said you don't like nitro that much. Well, that's because it's a T-Max E. I converted it to electric. It was a great project. I loved 
working on this truck. Uh, it goes pretty fast, a lot of wheelies, a lot of jumps. Uh, start front, T-bone bumper with the RPM wide uh, arms. Uh, I have this, man, I can't forget what, I bought them from eBay. I can't remember the company for these sway bars. Um, big board shocks. All right, in the back, I have the two track RPMs. Of course, big board, uh, tracks of CVDs, uh, T-bone bumper and Willy, Willy bar. Uh, see, of course, the Mambo Monster with a How to RC uh, mount for the Mamba Monster. I've run it on two uh, two cell batteries. The mounts, man, they from a uh, YNA scale buggy that I just happened to find, and it worked. It worked out great, so I could be able to mount the batteries there. Of course, I have to use uh, some zip ties and stuff. And um, of course, it has a um, RPM skid on the bottom. Savox uh, servo. I was thinking about doing the dual servo, but um, that Savox is pretty good. The cage, I got it from eBay also. I also have uh, RPM bumpers front and back, but right now I took them off, so I'm able to take out the cage. So I can work on it and stuff. Put that over here. Uh, MIP uh, drive shaft, both front and back. Like I said, this is my main bachelor. Love this truck. Right now, it's a little out of commission because the diff could not handle the power. Both front and back, back are clicking. And are the old T-Max diffs. I kind of knew it would happen, so now I'm probably gonna go and get me some um, some of the new Emacs diffs and see how that works out. I know some people have done some conversion to 1A scale uh, diffs from an LST, I think. Can't remember right now. But uh, if those uh, Emacs uh, give me problems. After, of course, I'm a shim and everything. If they give me problem, then I probably will have to go with something uh, one eight scale or something, do something. But uh, pretty nice truck. Ready. Anyway, uh, of course, don't let me forget the body. Man, don't let me forget the body with the Saber X color scheme as you can see nice all right of course this right here the black is actually a bed liner that I bought from an auto parts store pretty good uh, I have survived some uh, rollovers and it still looks good like it also did it on the bottom I mean, off the inside of the truck, and it feels nice and sturdy and kind of heavy. But like I said, it's a basher, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, thank you for watching, and like always, TC Complete.